After you install Flex Engine, the Dynamic Environment Manager agent, in the VMs that end users will access, you need to enable the agent and point to the configuration file the agent needs to read when users log in. You also need to point to the profile archives directories so that user settings can be read and saved. There are a couple of ways to do this. One is to use the provided administrative templates for Active Directory group policy objects. These template files are located inside the Administrative Templates ADMX folder. This folder is included in the same download package that contains the Dynamic Environment Manager installer. If you use a central file store for administrative templates, copy all the files in the folder to the sysvol share on the primary domain controller. The path is backslash backslash the name of the primary domain controller backslash sysvol, backslash the domain name, backslash policies, backslash policy definitions. Next, to copy all the language files, open the ENUS folder included in the Administrative Templates ADMX folder. Select and copy all the ADML files in the ENUS folder and paste them into the ENUS folder inside the Policy Definitions folder on the sysvol share. Now you can create a group policy object and use the templates with this GPO to configure all the required policy settings and any optional ones you want to use. You can create this GPO for an organizational unit that contains either user accounts or computer accounts for the VMs. For this example, we will use computer accounts. Open the Microsoft Group Policy Management Editor, browse to the OU, right-click, and select Create a GPO in this domain and link it here. For this example, we will name it DEM GPO. Right-click the GPO and select Edit. Navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, System, Logon. Double-click the policy setting Always Wait for the Network at Computer Startup and Logon, and set it to Enabled. This ensures that the Flex Engine Group Policy client-side extension runs during each logon. Navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, System, Group Policy. Because we are linking the GPO to an OU of computers rather than users, we must edit the policy setting Configure User Group Policy Loopback Processing Mode and set it to Enabled. This allows user account policies to be applied to computer accounts. We also need to set the logoff policy so that Flex Engine will be able to store the settings configured through the GPO. Navigate to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, DEM, Flex Engine. In the right pane, double click Run Flex Engine at Logon and Log Off and enable it. Click OK. Next, we have to point to the Dynamic Environment Manager configuration file. Double-click the Flex Config Files policy setting. Enable the policy and type in the UNC pass to the configuration file. For this example, the path is backslash backslash fileshare100 backslash demconfig backslash general. Leave the process folder recursively checkbox enabled. Next, we'll point to the profile archives share. Double-click the profile archives policy setting. Enable the policy and type in the UNC path to the share. For this example, the path is backslash backslash fileshare100 backslash DEM user profiles and then append percent sign username percent sign backslash archives to the end of the path so that a unique subfolder will be created for each user. Leave the compressed profile archives checkbox checked. Two other really useful but not absolutely required policies are the Profile Archives Backup Policy and the Flex Engine Logging Policy. For backups, double-click the Profile Archives Backups Policy setting, enable the policy, and enter the path you want to use for backups. Be sure to append percent sign username percent sign backslash backups to the path so that a unique subfolder will be created for each user. For Flex Logging, double-click the Flex Engine Logging Policy setting. Enable the setting and type in the UNC path. Be sure to append percent sign username percent sign backslash logs backslash flexengine.log 
so that a unique log file will be created for each user. For the log level, don't use debug or info in production unless you actually need to troubleshoot something. <laughs>